Greetings ladies and gents, Ilzy from Heathen Sen here and welcome to my channel. Now lately it's been quite a bit warm here and there in Sydney and honestly I started getting out my freshies and like I'm getting a mixture of my cold weather scents and warm weather scents and I thought you know what, I've recently got one that has been hyped up a little bit here and there like it's not that new of a fragrance but anyway today we're reviewing Azaro Chrome Aqua. Now, this one was just recently sort of brought into my attention, I guess like maybe like the last six months or so. You know, and I've noticed like you know, a little bit hype here and there. I thought, okay, you know what? I've never actually tried an Azaro fragrance before. And I thought, you know what? When I actually saw it online before I bought this, uh, I saw how cheap it was. It was something like 50 Australian dollars for 100 mil. And that was over at Priceline, so I ended up going into the store and getting this. Thought, why not? Nice, cheap summer scent. Now, let's start off with the presentation of this fragrance. So, you get this nice, sort of squarish looking, you know, frosted aqua type of bottle. Quite nice, quite simple. You know, you got Atsara at the bottom there, you got chrome and then aqua, and you get this nice, simple, sort of squared off sort of cap. It's basically, you know, very simple, very light plastic, nothing special about this at all. Actually, a little bit cheap, but then again, the fragrance was cheap. Not a problem. Okay. Let's see the sprayer. Decent. Nothing, you know, exciting. But give it a spray. And let's get into it. So, the notes of this fragrance start off with the top. We've got grapefruit, green apple, and violet leaf. And at the heart, we have got sea notes, basil, and mints. And at the base, we've got cypress and vetiver. So. <sighs> Freaking love this one. Okay. So to start off, you know, we get a nice blast of that grapefruit and green apple at the top. It don't get much of the violet leaf. It stays in the background, sort of gives a little bit of support, like a little bit of a lift to those notes. And you definitely get that mint come through. It is nice and fresh. And I think with the green apple, it sort of gives this sort of sweetness that it almost makes it smell like a spearmint. I mean, look, I'm not a fan of spearmint as like the flavor. It's a bit, nah, nah, not my thing, but smell. I love it. It's just absolutely a nice smell right there. And those top notes seem to last about a good 30, 40 or so minutes before they get to those hard notes of the C notes, the basil and mint. The C notes are quite nice because they actually do affect the top notes. They give this sort of like nice slight bit of saltiness to it. And But anyway, when it comes to the mids, you know, the basil really comes out and it really sort of helps out that mint and it gives a little bit of aromatic sort of feel and the saltiness from the sweet notes you, you get this sort of aqua type vibe like you know the name suggests uh that lasts a good about four or so hours before it gets down to that dry down and with the cypress and vetiver now see i was expecting a little bit of something different from that vetiver especially because a lot of the times when i actually have vetiver fragrances i get this sort of dryness almost like a leatheriness to it but the thing is this is a little bit different now with the cypress i'm getting more of a mixture of like greenness and like sort of like a green grassy fresh type of scent to this and it's almost like I guess you could say like freshly cut grass. It is quite nice, very refreshing. Something you definitely want to smell around the summertime. And longevity that you get from this fragrance is about six or seven hours, typically more around the six hour mark, but seven hours if you beast spray like I typically do. As I said, like I really don't go any less than, I don't know, seven sprays typically. Now, in terms of projection of this fragrance, so this is not an absolute beast projector like you'd expect from, you know, a lot of sort of summary type of fragrances. I'm getting within about an arm's length or so, which is not too bad, and that seems to last about an hour and a half or so before it starts getting closer to the skin, and then it gets down to a skin scent. 
around the three to four hour mark. So it's something to be expected from like, you know, a sort of nice standard cheapy sort of fragrance. But the thing is for something that's as cheap as it was, I was actually quite impressed. Now, I don't know how much this goes for at the moment, but I'll put a link in the description below to buy this fragrance. Now let's get onto the versatility of this fragrance. So this is definitely more of your summer, like spring summer type of fragrance, along with like the citruses and sort of lighter notes. So you get like the fresh mint in there, the cypress and the vetiver and the sea notes. It's definitely a lighter type of fragrance. Obviously, if you're gonna be wearing it in the colder months, you're definitely gonna be spraying it more to get a little bit more out of it. I mean, let's be honest, you know, wear it whenever you like, but if I'm going to suggest it around any sort of time, you definitely want to be having it around the warmer sort of months. And this is definitely more of a casual type of scent. Look, wear it whenever you like, let's be honest. But, you know, I'd sort of say this is more of a casual type of fragrance, at least in my eyes. And in terms of who can wear it, look, let's be honest any age this is not really sort of like age restrictive or anything like that and i'd say this is definitely great for both men and women alike there is no overtly masculine or feminine notes in here the closest you'll get to is maybe that vetiver being a little bit more masculine at least what i usually expect from it being that more sort of dry almost leathery type of vetiver and maybe the violet leaf but then again look it only sort of really helps to give a lift to those citruses so the way i see it is like this can really work for just about anyone and the question is would i buy this again 100 percent, yes look you know for how cheap i bought it and if it stays that cheap or it gets even cheaper look i'll smash the crap out of this this is absolutely amazing no, I mean, I'm not going to smash the bottle, as in I will completely douse myself in this around the summer. Why not? This is cheap as it is. It smells great. It's got a good amount of longevity for how much it costs. You really can't complain with what you get. Anyway, guys, this has been my review of Atsado Chrome Aqua. I hope you like what you see and what you hear. And if you do, please hit that like button and comment down below if you smelt this before. Do you like this? Do you not like this? Remember, fragrances are subjective. And if you enjoyed this review, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more fragrance videos like this straight to your feed, including men's grooming videos. And guys, I'm getting close to 200 subscribers, so please hit that red button and get me to that number. And let's just keep this channel growing. And remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Blessed be to you all, and I'll see you on the next video.